Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video we are unboxing and taking a look at the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. This is an oracle deck by John Holland, if that name sounds familiar. He brought you the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, which I absolutely love. I am planning on doing a comparison video of the two, so stay tuned for that. This is 65 cards and a guidebook. Published by Hay House, it is retailing for $24.99 in the U.S. and $33.99 in Canada. As always, in the description box below, I will legitimately link where you can purchase this deck should you want to. And whilst you're there, I do have a link tree that will provide you all of my social media links as well as my Etsy shop where I do private readings. All right, let's jump in. The Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck with its accompanying guidebook and 65 beautifully illustrated cards was created to assist and guide you in matters of the heart, especially the different relationships in your life. Relationships of all kinds are really about you. They will often reflect back what you need to see and the lessons you need to learn. By using this deck and the techniques that psychic medium John Holland imparts, along with the wisdom of the tarot, you'll begin to understand and look at relationships, past, present, and future, with an intuitive eye. This deck is not just for lovers. These cards will resonate with anyone and add clarity around the all types of relationships, including the most important one of all, the relationship with yourself. All right, let's get into it. Okay. Ooh. All right. Before we do anything with the cards, we're going to take a look at the guidebook here. Okay, so we have an introduction and then understanding the card structure. I want to get into that because I have a feeling this is going to be similar to the Psychic Tarot where it uses the same structure without a couple of cards. So we do have a minor and then it looks like, or a major, excuse me, and then a minor. And the suits are physical with the red border, which would be... Uh, attributed to the pentacles. Then we have the emotions, which are the green border that are attributed to the cups. The mental with the indigo border, which would be swords. The spirit, which is the violet border, which are the wands. And then we have nice, the chakra cards. So similar structure to that of the psychic tarot. Okay. Just want to see if there's anything. Okay. Major arcana cards. There are 22 major arcana number numbered from zero to 21. These represent some of the main themes or spiritual lessons that are playing out in your life or the life of the person being read at the moment. These cards contain strong archetypal figures and can depict some of the qualities of an individual. Then we have the minor arcanas that are comprised of 36 cards divided into four categories that address the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of your life. Each section has nine cards numbered from one to nine. They are more representative of daily life and will describe how an individual reacts to a certain situation regarding matters of the heart, the emotions involved with it, and what's currently happening. These cards are helpful in giving direction on how to resolve the situation and move forward. I've also included the traditional tarot symbols to help you better understand and integrate my own interpretation and that of the traditional tarot. Nice. Okay. If one of the chakra cards is drawn, it's a reminder to be aware of that particular energy center and the quality it represents and apply that information accordingly to the reading of the cards or spread. You may want to ask yourself, is this chakra energy center being affected by what's going on in my life? All right some tips on how to get started. And then we have a single card reading, three card blessings and challenges, issue action outcome spread and yearly forecast. Okay, and then some more information, nice. Color interpretation, numerology meanings. This is awesome, symbols, and then it goes into the cards. Okay, I know this was a long little bit in the beginning, but I like to understand what the deck's structure is before jumping into the flip through. That way we know kind of what to expect when these cards come up. So here's the back. Green hearts, love that. It is a high gloss, just like the Psychic Tarot. And we do have the borders, which will help as well to interpret the cards. I really enjoy the psychic tarot, so I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this being more focused on matters of the heart. 
Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, look at that baby. Oh. Sorry, anytime there's a dog or a cat, any animal really. <laughs> Gotta focus on it. This whole image is giving me Lord of the Rings vibes and I'm here for it. The imagery is beautiful. I like the keywords that are being associated with the uh, tarot card that it kind of mirrors. I'll say that because it's not necessarily like focused on the exact meanings of that tarot, like the, the traditional tarot. This is John's personal tarot interpretation. I like this one. Wow. Very strong imagery. Okay, so that was the major. Let's move on to the minor here. like that. This is very gentle. Nice. All right, so that was pentacles. Now this would be the cups. I really like this perspective.
Okay, swords. Interesting. Yeah, I'm loving the vibe of this deck. This is great for beginners. This is great for whatever level you consider yourself in your journey. and wands. And absolutely, I don't think you need to use this just for relationship readings. This is very versatile. All right, now we got the chakra cards. Let's see how it shuffles. Yep, it's just like the other Hay House cardstock. It feels like the Psychic Tarot. I don't have a problem with it. Can I get a card to read, please? Shuffle's fine this way, too. Okay, we're going to read for Darkest Fears. The Nine of... Let's see. The Nine of the Mental. Okay. So, key words. Anxiety, doubt, resolve, and release. Having love in your life is crucial. When a relationship does not go as planned or when a desired relationship does not materialize, it is easy to lose yourself in worry and doubt. You may even question your own worthiness. It is easy to become obsessed with all of your darkest fears regarding love. Don't let your anxieties paralyze you into a total state of inaction. Dwelling on your worries only feeds them with energy, allowing them to consume you and overshadowing everything else. Take a moment to determine what might be troubling your heart. The anxiety may be obvious or quite subtle. Once you identify it, decide if it is something you can resolve on your own or if you need assistance, and then take the appropriate action. If you determine that it is a worry over which you have no control, ask spirit to help you release it. I love this. I think this is fantastic. It's very gentle. It's very easy to read with. It's very easy to um, utilize, interpret. I enjoy this a lot. Um, like I said, I don't think this is necessarily a deck that you have to use with relationship readings by itself. I feel like it's very versatile. You can use it as a structured deck like the tarot, or you can use it as an oracle deck. Um, I, I feel like technically it kind of is a tarot deck because it plays upon the energy of the tarot. It just eliminated the... Um, the court cards and the 10. I know a lot of you out there have this deck. I would love to know what your thoughts on this deck are down in the comment section below, how you use it. Do you prefer this over the Psychic Tarot if you have both of them? 
let me know all your thoughts. If this is not a deck for you, let me know your reasoning for that too. There's diversity, there's so much color, there's different body types. There's a lot in here, so I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's beautifully done, especially for an older deck. When was this um, copyrighted? I don't know. So, like I said, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. I love you and I like you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.